Welcome everyone. This is Caroline at Create Your Future. So happy to see you here. Welcome, welcome. So today, guys, we have a brand new video before we start. My name is Caroline. I am a coach here at Create Your Future. I am available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to coach with me, you will find in the link below the information that will take you to you know our website in order to, to sign up. You'll also find the link to the uh, all the tracks that I have for you know on sale right now. Um, so I have 22 titles of affirmations, thought transmission, and rampages. And on sale, we have the hypnosis tracks. They go right now for 50% off. So you use the coupon code SAVE50. And that's for the uh, guided deep relaxation slash hypnosis tracks. I said it right today. <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, we also have a free course that you can um, get by clicking on the link below. Um, it's a course that Amanda created on how to, you know, pinpoint your blocks and overcome them in order to manifest anything you want super fast. So that's a great course. It's got, really, it's got everything that you need, um, but we always want new approaches. So we also have all kind of great courses on the website. All right, so guys, today I have some success stories, um, but I want to start with the concept of storytelling. Storytelling, the narrative, no, no, narrative, no, the narrative, sorry. You know, English is not my first language. So once in a while, I'm going to have a little hiccup on words. Please forgive me. Um, anyhow, the narrative that goes on in our mind. That means that if you pay attention, because it goes completely automatically, right? So sometimes we may not be aware of what we're thinking, but we are constantly thinking, right? Constantly telling ourselves stories. Um, this morning I was walking with my daughter across town to go to a gym early this morning. And at one point we were in silence and I asked her, I said, what are you thinking about? She said, um, nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, she's not thinking about nothing. She's thinking about something. She just chose not to share, which is perfectly fine, you know. However, we have to be really, really, really aware of this inner dialogue and the stories we tell ourselves because that completely um, dictate the direction of our lives. So the story that we tell ourselves are the stories that we believe. And in the infinite possibilities that we have in our quantum bubble where we reside as the God of our own reality, we choose to observe the reality of the story that we tell ourselves in our mind, right? So when you have a life with unwanted circumstances where your specific person is not showing up as the person you want them to show up. That's because you are observing the reality that match, you know, the story you're telling in your mind. So basically, it's, you know, the work, the mental diet, it's, it's quite easy. All we have to do is to decide to observe a different reality, therefore experience a different reality. And we do this by supporting this decision with the narrative that goes through our mind, the story that we tell ourselves. Um, we can make this very simple. All right. So it gets simple when you're in a state of confidence, knowing that your thoughts create, meaning that the reality that you experience is the one you have selected to observe. 
and that is supported again by the story you tell yourself in your mind all right so when you experience all the other feelings of despair sadness frustration anger uh rejection anxiety all those very and you know fear doubt all those unpleasant um feelings emotions state of being then when you experience them you know you know you have a story in your mind that matches those feelings a story in your mind that comes before those feelings those feelings are the result of the story you tell in your mind the the result of you know the thoughts that you keep on repeating in your head so the first thing is to bring yourself back to neutral so you need to you know calm yourself down you want to feel grounded you want to feel centered you know you connect yourself with the earth sorry I forgot to turn off Alexa. So you want to be centered. How do you do this? How do you calm yourself down? Well, you are being in the very present moment. When we have anxiety, when we have fear, when we have doubts, we are thinking of two things. We're thinking of the past and we're thinking of the future. So we are get, we get scared from what's happened in the past what we've heard in the past and we fear for what is going to happen given what has happened often we link but it doesn't have to be link it can just be you know dwelling on the past and be completely traumatized and rehearsing that story in our mind and be traumatized by the past therefore being paralyzed right now in the present and feeling this anxiety and this fear or just being fearful for the future, living in fear, not trusting what is yet to come. So the way I like to bring myself back to centered, grounded, calm is by really focusing on my present moment. What's happening right now? Right now, you know, right now, I'm alone in that room right now. There's nothing happening in this room. There's nobody else in this room. Nothing is happening. Therefore, I can choose to decide that this room is peaceful. There's nothing else. There's nothing threatening at this very moment. You know, you bring yourself back to the present moment and you start observing things like right now, right now in front of you, the peace, so once you bring yourself back in that you know state of peace you have let go of the the fear the anxiety the doubts all that stuff all those feelings that you don't want to experience and from there you can recreate even if it's artificially we can recreate somewhat of a feel-good feeling from where you come up with a better story, you come up with a better version because whatever you come up with already exists in a reality, in one of those infinite realities, right? Um, creation is already done. So that means everything already exists. So you bring yourself in that state of peace and you choose to only observe the better version. So I like to work this way with my clients instead of repeating continuously um, the same affirmation over and over. A mantra can be very good. Okay, so like one mantra that I, I love to have on a daily basis is I feel good. Everything is working out for me always, you know, so that's a mantra that, yes, I do repeat. But then as far as the story, I prefer to embody the the state of the person who has chosen that role and has chosen to be that person so um i was discussing this with one of my clients and she said okay right now in my situation um i work from home she was she's very successful she works from home 
and therefore her social life is not um, very existent because she works so much. She um, she she really works a lot. She she has more than uh, her own job. She's very creative, so she's doing other other things. But again, all from home, and she, she is basically by herself. So she said, you know. I love that I'm successful. I love what I do, but I wish to meet friends. And I want to meet friends that are like-minded people, people who think like me. So we work together at practicing how it will, you know, how it, it would feel like to be this person and, and to embody that state. She went away for a some type of a seminar or conference i'm not exactly sure she was she had to go away and meet some people brand new people and she did she came she went you know with that new story in her mind that she was that person with the friends and she did meet the friends and all those friends were there for her to meet and she came back she was ecstatic and then those friends faded away. So the story was that, yes, she could meet the friends, but okay, so that's good. But now we need a very, you know, a more com complete story that those friends are here to stay. Just when you choose your SP and you choose to be in a relationship with your SP, you want to be with your SP. You want your SP to choose you. So you are chosen and you say that I'm chosen, I am claimed. Also, make sure you say that you are kept, right? You're kept. So the new story sticks and it lasts. It lasts as long as you want it to last. So we um, recreated a story and she practiced the state of being that person who meets again like-minded, wonderful, amazing new friends. But this time they were there to stay. While we were talking, there was another incident where um, she had a, 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 a problem, let's say, uh, with her CPA, her accountant. She was not, her accountant was a lady. She was not doing what she was supposed to do. She was not providing the service that she was hired to, to, by my client to perform, right? She was performing really poorly. So we um, decided that she would, you know, easily, effortlessly encounter a new CPA that would fulfill her needs. So uh, we were, you know, we were in the middle of the session. It was a two hour session. We were really talking and then my client got really into it and she goes, yeah, but you know what? My CPA, she has to be more than just a CPA. She has to think like me. She has to have a personality. And she went on and on how, you know, incredible her women CPA would be. She goes on another seminar out of town with people she did not know. She came back. She was like, all right, I made friends, amazing friends. And they're this time they're here to stay. So yeah, um, that was a few weeks back. So as of today, the friends are still here. She's still in contact. Um, two of them, she is planning on meeting again out of town. So, you know, once she embodied that state, it she chose that reality where she was that person. So it's happening. But she said to me, the icing on the cake, you would not believe. I met one of them was a CPA and I met the CPA that I was telling you about during our last session. So she was sharing her screen with me and we looked up at the website of that CPA. I've never seen anything like this. Not that it was not professional because she is a very successful and professional CPA, but the website was like wild in personality, in, you know, the. the the, the the person was so bubbly and creative and like her personality was exploding out of the website. It was not one of those pictures, you know, typical pictures of a very professional person in a suit 
with the hand like this. <laughs> it was just, I mean, the pictures were appropriate, absolutely. But they were wild, fun, creative, and they were bursting energy. And it was exactly the type of person my client had described during our session. So what my message today is that once you choose the person you want to be and the person the people you want to be surrounded with whether it's your sp or friends co-workers family members then you want them to show up a certain way you get absolutely get to decide and rewrite the script and then you you tell yourself you 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 know you keep on running that story in your mind because you, and you accept as, as a matter of fact my client did not run that story a million times she ran that story a couple of times, but then she just said, yeah, that's it. That's who I am. And then she moved on to something else. She let it go with confidence and with trust, meaning that she replaced anxiety, doubt, fear, rejection, sadness, despair with, I know I'm confident. That's the reality I'm choosing. That's that. And let it go. You let it go, it opens the door to the universe. Okay, guys, I hope I was clear. And if I, if you have any more questions, you can always leave a comment in the box in the in the comment section down uh, down below. I will read and I will address them in another video. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, please put a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. Support our channel. We greatly appreciate you and appreciate your support. All right, guys, take care until next time.